Hi, welcome to Geometry City for Google Slides. So in this project, kids are going to build their own city and then they have to count up the different types of polygons that they have. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have and what the kids are going to do. So first there's a teacher page. The project overview is what you're watching right now. And then I have another tutorial real quick just for how to assign this in Google Classroom. If you'd like help with that, click here. Then there are all these videos for the kids. This is really great because these skills are really important regardless of what project the kids are doing. And they are going to get to practice so many different skills in Google Slides. So this one is how to drag and move the shapes around, how to make the shape bigger or smaller, rotate, change the color, copy and paste, and how to bring some shapes to the front and put others behind. So these are the skills videos. Each one is about one to two minutes. They're super quick. And then here's a short video where I show the students myself making a geometry city so they can kind of watch that and see how I did it. And then here is a video of me showing them how I filled out the city details where I count up what types of polygons I have. So these videos are all for the students. They click and they can click on that link and watch it. So this is really great because you can just assign this and it's already ready to go. Then down here, there are some teacher examples. So here's one I built, and then here are the specs for this city. And then here's another one I built that has way more polygons in it. So the kids can look at these if they want to for inspiration. I built a car down here. I think a lot of kids will do really cool stuff. And then here's the work page. So down here are all the different polygons, and they can build their city here. And then once they build their city, they would come in here and record their data. So how many triangles do we have? How many quadrilaterals do we have, et cetera? They also get to give their city a name and they need to count up the total polygons in their city. Down here, there are eight of each shape, but I do teach the students here how to copy and paste so they can create more. But I made it so that there's more here so they don't have to copy and paste every single time so they can build a little quicker and have a little bit more fun but they can definitely copy paste if they want more they can resize the shapes make them super big they can change the colors of the shapes and i teach them how to do all of these skills in my videos so they really come in with a project that's ready to go right away and something that they can just watch the videos and learn how to do it this is also a super fun way for them to practice these skills that they'll end up needing for other work that they do down the line. So this is really great too because Google will line things up for you so you can pull it and use these little red lines to help you keep things in line if you want to, but you don't have to. You can put some stars, sun in the sky, etc. So this really is a super fun project because they just come to this page here and start creating. So I hope this is helpful. I hope you really enjoy this project. And I think it's a really fun way for students to practice their geometry. Thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions.